Did you hear me? I was calling you. I'm sorry. I was just wishing I'd be gone. <laughs> Take your teeth out. You know I can't understand you with those things in. I meant to say, I'm sorry. I was finishing up the gill man. Well, the gill man can wait. Because guess what? Aunt Barb is here. With Uncle Kevin? Yeah, with Uncle Kevin. They brought pepperoni pizza, though. Come on, before it gets cold. Your friends will still be here when you get back. Oh. Come to dinner. I hypnotize you to come to dinner. I really feel it. You're doing a good job there. Thank you very much. Mm. Trick or treat's not till October, buddy. Every day is trick or treat around here. Really? More tang? No thanks. I never drink. Tang. <laughs> Why not? It's the official drink of astronauts. It was the first beverage on the moon. 
You know that? Joe likes Tang. He's just, he's doing his, his Dracula. Mm -hmm. Bella Lugosi, right? Played him in the first one. Technically, Max Shrek played him in the first one. The silent version, Nosferatu, 1922. Bella Lugosi was a dope addict. I never heard that. No, it's a fact. Look it up in the encyclopedia. I'm not crazy about the new guy. What's his name? Uh, you know, the limey with the red eyes? Christopher Lee. No, that's the karate guy. <laughs> Yeah, look it up. Jojo doesn't have to. He knows everything there is to know about uh, Dracula and the mummy and Frankenstein and who am I missing here? Uh, O.J. Simpson. When I was his age, I knew everything there was to know about football. Nowadays, it's all about this horror crap. Can I be excused? I don't know, can you? May I be excused? Yeah, yeah, in just a minute. I'm, uh... Aunt Barbara and Uncle Kevin have something that they wanted to ask us. Joe, would it be cool if me and Uncle Kev came to stay for a bit? Your mom could use an extra hand right now with, well, all that's going on. If you'll have us. Count, you're blowing it. Vampires don't show up in mirrors. <sighs> Let me help you. What? Your eye. Who did that to you? Billy Niles again? Do me a favor and lay off the monster talk at school. Hmm? You're running short on friends, kiddo. I have all the friends I need. You got a lot of them. Why do they have to move in with us? You know, it's, it's not a forever thing. Just till I finish my next round of chemo. And... It'll, it'll help your Uncle Kevin get back on his feet. He's such a loser. Yeah, he's not so bad. <laughs> Did you know, actually, that he used to box in the army? Maybe he could uh, show you a few pointers on how to deal with old Billy Niles. Yeah. We'll talk about it tomorrow, okie doke. Okie doke. What's playing on the old time machine tonight? I haven't decided. Abbott and Costello meets somebody. Let's set it up. I'll make the jiffy pop. I love you, Mom. I love you. call it a time machine because that's what projectors are movies they transport us think about it I bet you remember exactly where you were and who you were with the very first time you heard Dr. Frankenstein yeah it's a lot <laughs> I was with you <laughs>
And with one flip of a switch, you always will be. Together forever, Jojo. Just like in the movie. Where's the kid at? I let him sleep in. On a Saturday? It's chore day. He's probably up there watching goddamn movies again. Kevin, be nice. He'll grow out of it. Some kids do Little League. JoJo and his mom did Monsters. He's turning into a freak, and you're promoting it. What are you doing in here? Sniffing glue? Repairing the Reaper's arm. Repairing Reaper's arm, huh? Where they at? Huh? I know you got some girlies under here somewhere, huh? Ah! Well, I'll be dipped in shit. You do like girls, don't you? It's a collector's item. But you don't like me much, do you? That's okay. You know what? Your cousin Gary, he didn't like me much either. We didn't watch monster movies on the Late Late Show. My job was to make a man out of him. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do for you. Thanks. You're welcome. First things first, we gotta get rid of all this horror crap. Why? Because I said so. You know, me and your auntie sacrificed a lot to be here. That's not how I heard it. I heard you had to move in because you got canned from your job. That's how you heard it, huh? It's called a temporary layoff. Give me this. Hey, that was a present for my mom. Oh, poor, poor Grim Reaper. Oh. Grim Reaper's all broken up about it. Now get your ass outside. It's chore day. You play with your stupid toys later. Huh? Dr. Frankenstein, say hi to your mom for me. Tell 
me the infamous Billy Niles. I made some tang. I was helping you do your drag, Yellow. Well, I can't. The sun's still up. Before you say anything, it was my fault. Took an extra shift at Bigman's Diner without telling your uncle. He says it's getting hard just being a man these days. He's not a man. Go for the pin! Go for the pin! Hello? Yes, just a second. He's right here. Kev, it's Mr. Warren. Hello, Mr. Warren? Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're hanging in the best we can, sir. I understand, sir. What can I say? Times have been tough for all of us. Thank you, sir. Oh, honey. I'm so sorry. And what are you sorry about? You still got your job. What do you think you're doing? Cleaning house. There's gonna be no more Santa Claus, no more Tooth Fairy, and no more goddamn monsters. You're the only monster around here. No! Ah! Yeah. Stay away from him. Over what? Huh? And you deserve each other. Got it. Need it. Got it. Need it. Need it. <gasps> Hello. 
Twisted completely around. <laughs> Ciao, it's me. I'm working a night shift. There's turkey pot pie in the fridge. Just stay clear of your uncle. He's been in bed all day burning up with fever. Things are gonna change around here. I promise. I know. What the hell's he watching? Joe! Turn it down! Kid needs a good old fashioned ass whooping. Must have backed up the shitter again, you freak! I'm coming for you, buddy! I know you're in there playing with your goddamn toys because I can smell the goddamn glue. Open the door or I'll smash it in. Okay. All right. Are you ready for your 
a close-up on Uncle Cam? <laughs> Time for the big ending. What happened? A couple of friends came for a visit. They had some cleaning up to do. After all, it is chore day. that the little pig worked so hard. For now, they'd have plenty of food for winter. And Farmer John promised to never eat pork chops again. So, they ate chicken. <laughs> the end. Hmm, what do you suppose that story was about, Henrietta? Getting all you deserve? That's right. Some folks call it karma. When you do something good, something good will happen to you. But if you do something bad, something bad will happen to me? Mm-hmm. So be sure to be good little boys and girls. Until next time, bye for now. Mrs. Bookberry's Magical Library is made possible by a grant from the Public Broadcasting Corporation. You are watching WQPS Channel 13, Pittsburgh. Prevent child abuse. This is WQPS in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, operating on channel 13 with a frequency of 210 to 216 megahertz by authority of the Federal Communications Commission. Bookberry Pledge Drive promo shoot, take one. Settle, settle, lots of energy, and on in three, two. Something very special is happening tonight on channel 13, Henrietta. What is it, Mrs. Bookberry? It's the WQPS Pledge Drive. That's where we ask all the mommies and daddies out there to fuck. <gasps> God damn it, line. Become a member of Channel 13's television family. Okay, whatever, here we go. Three, two, one, action. That's where we ask the mommies and daddies out there to join us by becoming a member of Channel 13's television family. Cut. I think we got it. Greg, I'm gonna go take a shit. I'll be in my dressing room. Everybody take five while uh, she Mrs. Bookberry. does that. Smoke him if you got Mrs. him. Mrs. Bookberry. Bookberry! Hey, Mrs. Bookberry, do you have a minute? Better about the show tonight? Nothing like live television. What's up with my time slot, Claudia? Am I getting it or what? Well, you see about that. Love of painting has been our three o'clock for nearly 10 years, and what I- And what? Magical Library is the biggest show in QPS history. Without it, this piss stain of a station would be nothing. I want that time slot. Give me that time slot. But Norm's show won't survive anywhere. Listen, they took a big chance on promoting someone like you to station manager. Be ashamed to have to tell the higher-ups that you just couldn't figure it out. 
You got me, sister? You can have three o'clock. Thank you. Now, if you don't mind, I prefer to wipe my ass in private unless you want to come in and do it for me. Just a little bit, and then we're going to go back to the canvas and play in the leaves here. Just a little dab here, and a little dab there, right on the roof, just down that slope. These leaves maybe fell in the night. Maybe they were there last season. It's up to you. This is your world. There. Now, I'd say our cabin could use a little something to look forward to, so... Let's put a little sunshine at the horizon. We'll take our two-inch brush, just lighten up the sky, move the darkness away. There. I think it's time to clean out our brushes. And take the brush into the paint thinner, shake the excess. This is my favorite part. Just beat the devil out of it. I hope that you all enjoyed painting with me today, because I know I did. So from all of us here at the station, happy painting. God bless. And cut, clear. That is a beautiful painting, Norm. Oh, thank Wanna you. take a break before we start shooting the next oh, episode? No, 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 no. We may continue. Hey, guys, uh, excuse me, can we talk? What's wrong? Are you cutting our budget again, Claudia? You can't do that. I had to get rid of both camera guys. You got me directing, producing. I'm shooting close-ups here. I'm not cutting the budget. I'm afraid we're canceling Love of Painting. Oh, no. It's too bad. May we still shoot this next one? Yeah, of course, Norm. Claudia, what are you doing? This show is always good. Well, my hands are tied, George. This time slot is needed. I'm sorry. I really am. How is he always so calm? You think he'd at least chew me out for screwing him over? That man's changed a lot since he came back from Nam. Norm was on the front line of the Tet Offensive. Must have had to do horrible things to survive. Priceless items are right under your nose. Did the value of this snow blower or this medieval broadsword increase or decrease over time? What about this jar of Civil War coins? Find out next on The Appraiser's Road Trip. The Appraiser's Road Trip with Goodman Taper. Good evening and welcome. Today's first guest, Mr. Ted Ramey, has brought us something quite special. A book. How did you come across this? Oh, well, it's, it's been in the family for years. I must tell you, this is an amazing and quite valuable find. Wow. Wow, indeed. Brilliant Samarian craftsmanship. The stitching and the binding is magnificent. It's bound in a leather that I'm unfamiliar with. But despite a few scratches and discolorations, this is a stunning piece. It is locked, though. Do you have the key? Um, I lost it. Well, how unfortunate. But then it was found. Excellent. Uh, Let's look inside. <laughs> this is really exciting. I mean, uh, you know, I've, I've had this thing in my fruit cellar for years. I nearly threw it out, like, a million times. But I'm glad I didn't, though, huh? I mean, geez louise, I wonder what this old thing is worth. I wonder if I could get a Camaro. Or maybe, maybe a hot tub. What do you think, a Camaro or a hot tub? Hot tub. Yes. Look at these inked renderings. The Kandarian text. Any natural history museum would happily pay anywhere between three or four hundred thousand. Dollars? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. This is the best day of my whole life. Lucky for you, I can read Samarian. You 
can read. Might be a bit rusty, but what I can gather, this book is the Necronomicon. Uh, that name sounds familiar. It was written when dark spirits ruled the earth and the oceans boiled with blood. Oh. The powers of the dead lay within these very pages. Fascinating. Listen to these wretched incantations. Kanda Astrata dos Aluminum. Uh, uh, may maybe don't read it. Nosferatum. Malumortum. Uh, stop. Don't, don't read anymore. Il Sibitu. Say goodnight to the Grand Tetons and the meandering stream by just using the titanium white and working through the bristles of the two inch brush. And ever so gently drag through the dusk, creeping over the mountains here, and then saying goodbye to the dying embers of the day. Good night, day. Thank you for everything. Sleep well. There. I think we're done here. Um, today I had gotten some bad news. Unfortunately, this is our last episode. First I was sad, but I believe that everything happens for a reason. And if this is what the good Lord wishes, well then surely he must have something greater in mind for me and for us all. Let your soul in the book! What is that thing? If you're not going to behave, then I have to ask you to leave. Library. Yeah. Okay, we need to get to a phone. Yes, come on. That's right. Well, come on, George. Uh, uh. Daddy? Yes, you are. 
Your mother and I will be very disappointed if you're not good on the show tonight. Chicago's going to be watching. This will be our ticket out of here unless you fuck it up, which you probably will, you ugly little bitch! No, I won't mess up, Daddy, I promise. Nothing will stop me from making you proud. Nothing! Fuck off, Greg! I'm not taping anymore! I have to focus before the show! Go away! Are you deaf? I said go away. What the fuck is your problem? Get your soul in the box! Oh, Jesus. It's a goddamn massacre. Look, cameras are still recording. George, check the footage. Maybe we can find out what happened. Yeah, leave it to me. Oh, my God. Did that thing do all of this by itself? John? Oh, dear God, no. Anything? Well, a few dead friends. And a jar of old silver dollars. I'll buy you a pop if we survive. Hey guys! Hey guys, found something. I'll pipe it to the floor monitors. What do you think? Camaro or hot tub? Hot tub? Yes. <laughs> Look at these ink renderings. Hold on, hold on, I'm with you for The powers of the dead lay within these very pages. Listen to these wretched incantations. Casa Strata, Don Alamino, Nosferatu, Malo. Shut it off, George! Shut it off now! Why, what's wrong? He said the powers of the dead lay within the pages of the book. Listening to wretched incantations is not going to improve our situation here. The book started all of this. Maybe there's a spell or whatever that could stop it? Well, that stands to reason. If we can find it. Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. But where? <laughs> that answers that question. Yeah! Necronomicon. The Homoeticon? The creepy old book. And be sure to stick around for a very special live episode of Mrs. Bookberry's Magical Library. Coming up next only on WQPS Channel 13. That video feed is from the Chicago affiliate. They switch over to Bookberry at 6 o'clock. 
That's like... Now. Welcome to my library, children. Henrietta and I have a very special book to read to you tonight. And you fucking get to the limit! I'm so fired. If she reads that on live television, she won't. Listen, my children, and pledge your souls to the book. Hamna is Rata. Dos Alminam. Heal the beauty. Inerta Sababa Nair. Who dare interrupt the darkness? I'm responsible for the program quality of Channel 13, and this show does not meet WQPS standards. And what are you going to do about it? We're going to beat the devil out of you. Groovy. Claude, get the book. Okay? I think I'll get the Camaro. Uh. <laughs> Children must hear the words. The book hungers for young souls. Hell no. I'm cutting your budget. I'm cutting your budget. Hey kids. What are you watching in there? Do your part. Pledge to the book. Come on. Now I'm watching. Here's the potion. What's an amazing bunge you are. It's a vanilla pen. See what's inside. <laughs> We'll go back in with our fan brush and tap away at the sap green and then give our happy little tree some friends. Just a nice little community of trees. Just got off the phone house. with Chicago. Mm -hmm. They want Love of Painting to go national. You're kidding. Mrs. Bookberry was decapitated on live TV. Everyone thinks it was a publicity stunt. They don't care. We got lucky. Maybe it is karma. <laughs> <laughs> Trees are like people. They need friends. Hope you all make some good friends today. From all of us here, happy painting and God bless. Oh, yeah.